I think we're all much too painfully aware of the housing bubble and bust that's happened in the last five years, which is why this may sound surprising, but some of the highest yields you're gonna get on your investment money right now actually come from housing. There's three different ways I would suggest investigating if you're gonna invest your money in housing right now. The first is real estate investment trusts. The second is a rather new trend we're seeing. It's turnkey investment property. And the third, an old fashioned, get your hands dirty. Uh, this is the most risky and the most labor intensive, but also the highest returns, become an old fashioned, old school landlord. So let's break these down for a second. Real estate investment trusts, two different types of REITs. The first is publicly traded REITs. These are the most liquid and these are have decent yields, although they're the lowest yields of any of these three housing plays. The second of the REITs is non-traded REITs. So these tend to have a higher buy-in, uh, they tend to be less liquid, but the returns are even higher. Now for the second play you could consider doing. This is turnkey investment. This is a rather new trend we're seeing spring up around the US right now. This is companies that buy all the distressed bank-owned, dilapidated homes that nobody else wants. They fix them up, they get tenants into these properties, and then they sell them to you, the investor. They stay on usually, they property manage, you basically sit back and collect your check each month for your rental property as a silent landlord. So that's a second way to play real estate right now. The third, if you like getting your hands dirty, if you have some time on your hands, maybe you're retired, semi-retired, and you have a carpenter background, for example. Getting in, buying the prop distressed properties yourself, adding the home improvements, finding the tenants, and then property managing yourself. It's the biggest returns on your money, but it's also the most labor intensive. Housing affordability is at record highs right now. Rents are shooting through the roof. This is a long-term, all of these, I would actually suggest, are long-term plays. I'm not talking about investing in real estate the way we saw in the mid-2000s, where people were getting mortgaged to the hilt and then picking up homes and flipping them left and right. This is a play where you pick up real estate. I would suggest not more than 20% of your portfolio. And whether you manage it or whether someone else manages it, hold on to this property for a long-term investment play. You're gonna see returns anywhere from four to 12% on your money, depending on what kind of investment you make and where you make it.